Hey guys, so this is going to be a short unboxing and review of the new Razer Ornata Chroma. I've been searching all over the place for this product, and been interested in it, done tons of research, and I finally found it. And of all places, it was at Target. And if you don't believe me, here is my receipt. Right here. Target. Razer. 99 bought it today so I'm gonna do an unboxing of it and a short comparison to the Razer Black Widow Chroma uh, these are not the new keys these are still the green keys so just for your knowledge unfortunately I don't have a stand or a nice microphone so I'm filming this with my iPhone but everything that I've seen online has been either in Italian or another language, so I'm filming this mostly for guys who speak English and want to know what this keyboard is all like. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with the unboxing. I apologize if my hand movement is shaky, so I'm going to try and do this with one hand. So the box, you got the outside standard, let you peek into the keys, just a preview. That's what that sounds like. And I'm bottoming out on both of them. All right, so back of the box, tells you it's got the chroma, the mid-height keycaps. Uh, you got the palm rest that's included. And of course, the mecha membrane with the switch. Uh, all right, so let's see what we got. I've already cut the sides. So I tried to open this in the car because I was so excited. Don't call me a nerd, but I guess I'm a nerd. So got the standard box. Open it up. Take this out. It does have the standard braided cord on there, which is nice. So while I'm unboxing this, I guess I'll do a little bit of an explanation as to why go with a mecha membrane keyboard with the mechanical switch as opposed to just a regular mechanical keyboard which I already have. Uh, I'm currently a student so I do a lot of typing. I don't just do gaming. I obviously do gaming um, but for a person who does a lot of typing the Razer mechanical keyboards have a pretty long actuation range. Uh, I know that it actually has a shorter actuation range than most mechanical keyboards but for me, since I'm so used to typing, I do bottom out on the keys a lot. And it does take a, quite a while for me to reach the bottom of the keys when I'm bottoming, bottoming out. So that can become pretty tiresome for me. So I wanted something with a low keycap height and uh, still the tactile switch that I can tell whenever I actually press the button. So you've got the keyboard. Uh, one notable feature about the keyboard itself is that it's relatively flat in that it's not tilted upwards like most keyboards are. You do have in the back <coughs> the flips that you can turn up to give it an adjustable angle but from what I've heard that makes it pretty awkward when you actually use the armrest but we'll test that out and see. So just from a, a comparison standpoint does not have the programmable function keys like my Blackboard Chroma does over here. But for me, I don't really even use those much. You might if you're a programmer, if you're a super hardcore gamer, but you know, I'm not that hardcore. Um, basically what I was concerned about would be the number pad and then just the regular keys. And one thing I noticed on the Black Widow Chroma was that the space bar, for whatever reason, sounded different. So I'm gonna go ahead and try that out. And from what it sounds, it's pretty similar. Let me give you a comparison real quick just to show you what it sounds like comparing the regular keys to the space bar. So that's bottoming out. And then the space bar. See how nasty that sounds? I just don't like that. I prefer this, this sound, but the space bar has just been one thing that I've always been frustrated with, with the Black Widow Chroma. So, you've seen this, you've got the standard laser packet. I'm sure it's got a sticker or two in there, but I don't really care about that. 
We know it's Razer Synapse enabled, uh, which can be frustrating for some users if you just want to plug it and play and go and have all of your backlighting already preset into the machine. But unfortunately you can't with Razer Synapse, but that's not a big deal for me because I pretty much use it on one keyboard. So this would be the palm wrist. Let's see if we can get that open. And I'm just going to rip it because I'm probably going to be keeping this keyboard. So it obviously has a slight magnet in it, so whenever you hold it up to the keyboard, it does automatically switch to it. As far as the pressure goes, uh, nobody's really described this to me. It's not super padded. In fact, it's actually pretty plush. Um, so it's not something where you would normally have a hand rest that's kind of like a microfiber or um, a squishy armrest. This is pretty plush. It's nice and soft. The leathers, I'm not sure if it's real leather or not, but it's pretty, it's pretty nice. It's not, it's not going to make me notice it while I'm typing. Um, again, this has the low profile similar to the keyboard itself, which is going to maybe present a problem whenever you actually raise the uh, keyboard itself. But yeah, that's basically it. So you got the regular function keys at the top. You've got obviously the uh, keypad, print screen, pretty standard looking keyboard. Um, one thing that's noticeable already at the back of the keyboard is a white backdrop. And most people have said that that's used um, to make the colors pop a little bit more. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and plug it in, see how it turns out, and then we'll continue from there. Okay, so right away, one thing that I noticed that unfortunately is a downside to the product when comparing it to other Razer keyboards is that it does not have these USB slots right here. It doesn't have the headphone jack. It doesn't have the uh, microphone jack. This is just a standard keyboard. Obviously, no, no plugs right here. No plugs on the top, and no plugs on the other side. So this is actually one thing that I was a little bit disappointed to see. Um, Razer putting out a product that's kind of a downgrade to something that's been previously useful. Um, so we've got the hand rest plugged in right here. Uh, it doesn't feel too close to the keyboard itself. It feels like it's pretty decent distance away. Uh, you can. Uh, unattach it if you push it forward. Uh, it's not a super strong magnet but you can see that I can pull just on the hand rest and it will stay attached. Some people have said that while typing on it it can tend to come unattached but I really don't think that if I can move the actual palm rest that it's really going to come unattached. So the next thing to try would be to lift it up in the back and see if that angle creates any problem with it. That might be where people have had issues before. So still no issue so far with it coming unattached and I do find that it's a pretty decent distance from my wrist to the actual keyboard. Uh, so let's just do a quick sound test. Uh, hopefully you can pick it up on the microphone. Sorry about not having a good microphone. Uh, just a sound test on a few of the different main keys to see what it sounds like in comparison to the standard mechanical key switch. Sticky keys. And the same thing for the Black Widow Chroma.
So there's quite a bit of a sound difference, um, as you can see or hear. But uh, in my opinion, it, it's a nice sound. It's not overly clicky, um, but at the same time, you're not getting that plasticky bottom out sound that you would get with uh, the regular mechanical keyboards. Uh, now, if you're the type of person who doesn't necessarily bottom out, you just go to the point of actuation. This is kind of what it would sound like. So you can hear the difference between and uh, there's a little bit of a difference. I actually bought the O-rings to go underneath each of my keys. Tried those out. In my opinion, it didn't create big enough of a difference uh, for me to notice. Uh, it's noticeable, but it, it was more of a hassle to put on all the O-rings and then have not that much of a difference in sound. So I actually preferred them with it off and took it off. Um, <clears throat> so just to review over the standard features of it from just a keyboard standpoint it sounds it feels like it's going to be a pretty enjoyable keyboard to use uh, like I said I do a lot of typing in addition to gaming so for me the point of actuation to be able to hear it with a click is nice uh, that's something that you don't always get with most membrane keyboards uh, but you're not getting that bottom bottoming out sound uh, which has been kind of an issue I tried taking my keyboard to work uh, also used it in school and some computer labs and people were just staring at me wondering what kind of computer what kind of keyboard I was using they obviously liked the fact that it was uh, backlit with the promo but it can be kind of a problem if you're trying to maintain some sort of silence while you're typing this keyboard I think you could use in a public setting for work or for school and it wouldn't get super annoying for everyone else to hear um, I can't really think of much else to review. I guess I could pop off one of the keycaps for the escape button and show you the difference. So you've obviously got that backlighting right there and you can see the metal switch that you actually hear versus the uh, regular green keycap for the Black Widow Chroma. Um, and just actuation is a lot different and if it has the keycap on there. Um, and with the, obviously you can't do anything. So here's the back of the switch for the Ornata Chroma. And here's the back of the switch for, or the back of the keycap for the Black Widow Chroma. Um, I've always thought it's weird that they, it almost looks like it's spray painted. But anyway, that's not important. Uh, forgive me, I've got paint all over my hands. I work at a paint store. Um, but yeah, so that's my basic review of the Ornata Chroma. It's not meant to be an in-depth review. You can find those elsewhere. But I was basically doing this to show you guys what it sounds like. Uh, so hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't subscribe to me. Don't follow me. I won't be putting out any more videos. Uh, just trying to do this for the basic public. Thanks.